Hey bakers, John Cannell from Preppy Kitchen here and today we're making edible cookie dough. This stuff is, I can't even tell you, I have no words for how delicious it is. I've eaten a ton just in between takes, a ton. I will be baking up one cookie from this batch to show you what they are like baked. I'm so curious because if they bake up well, it's the best of both worlds and game over. Let's get started. First off, we're gonna toast our flour. It's important to do this because flour can actually have a bunch of bacteria and other things inside of it. You can kill that in the oven and make sure it's nice and clean for raw consumption. I mean, you're cooking this part, but the rest of it's raw. Okay, 240 grams or two and a quarter cups of flour. Just spread it out evenly onto your baking sheet. There we go, give it a nice little spread. Move it to the edges a little bit. And we're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes at 350. In you go. Let's take one cup or about 230 grams of unsalted butter. Mine is very room temperature, but we're gonna pop it into the microwave for a couple seconds and just give it a little bit of heat. I want it to kind of almost be melted. About 30 seconds at 40% power and my butter is like halfway melted, which is what I wanted. Add that into your stand mixer. You could do this all in a bowl by hand, but I don't wanna. <laughs> There we go. Oh, that butter. One and a half cups of golden brown sugar. You can use regular brown sugar. I'm adding in two teaspoons of a nice vanilla. One, two, a little bit extra. It's about a tablespoon in case you're wondering. And two tablespoons of milk. You could use whole milk, cream, whatever you want. The milk is basically taking some of the moisture that would have come from the eggs and adding it back in there because we don't want to have a dry cookie dough. That's not delicious. Okay. Mix it up just to combine everything. That sugar will melt a bit. It'll become nice and smooth. You'll be in heaven. Okay. Look at this. It looks like silk. Delicious. That's really nice, oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna add in a generous teaspoon of salt. This makes a big difference and really wakes the whole thing up. Mm. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a good choice and do this the right way. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Put this on some parchment paper. And now, making good choices, we're gonna add this in. with no spilling, amazing. Mix that up. Let's scrape the bowl down a bit too. Oh God, this really smells good. You can't easily make a regular cookie with just brown sugar because it spreads out so much. I actually like that, but most people don't but it has so much flavor, it's amazing. Okay, continue mixing. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Now it's time for something extra. How about chocolate chips? We're gonna add in about two cups, one cup. These are bittersweet chocolate chips, but you could also use milk chocolate chips, anything you want. You could add in toasted walnuts. The world is our oyster here. Bag number two. This is why I did not want to do this by hand. <laughs> That's it. All right, this is a, a little bit runny, but I'd rather have a runny cookie dough from the start than one full of like granulated sugar bits. That's why we use that melted butter. This can go into the fridge now just to chill out, but in the meantime, I will be giving this a little taste. A little sample for me. I'm not gonna double it. Okay, we're gonna transfer this to a little bowl, put it in the fridge, and we'll be back. I was so curious if this edible cookie dough would actually bake up into a real cookie that I baked one to show you. Look at the result. This looks, I'm not gonna be hasty, it looks like my dream cookie because I like a crisp, flat cookie. So with all of that brown sugar, the melted butter, the no leavening agents, that's what you want for a nice, flat, crisp, you know, the brown, brown sugar makes it chewy, but we'll see what happens. Do you see this? It looks amazing. Okay. 
giving you my full attention. That's good. Is it my dream cookie? No. Can you bake this up and have a pleasant experience? Yeah, they're really crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. Enough of you, what about my raw version? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the business, Whoa. If you like this video, check out my cake mix cookies. They have two versions, from scratch and with cake mix. Both are delicious and super fast and easy. And for ultimate chocolate cookie time, check out my chocolate chocolate chip cookie. They are amazing and so fudgy and delicious. If you like my videos, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you soon.